All right, guys. So to spin up our own Rabbit MQ server, I'm not gonna tell you to download and install that thing, right? You don't have to pollute your machine with with your with these installers. So what you have to do is just install Docker. Make sure you can say Docker, and you get some sort of a feedback here. And you make sure to you can do Docker run hello dash word. If this gives you back hello Docker. That means you have Docker installed. Once you have Docker installed, we're gonna spin up our own RabbitMQ message container, if you will, and that message container, message server, that container will have a RabbitMQ server from which we will start writing code, okay? And we're gonna talk about what we're gonna write, but let's first spin up that, that thing. How do we do it? Very simple. Okay, so first thing we wanna do is, write docker run okay and by always make it a habit to give your container a name let's give it a name rabbit mq okay and then once we give it a name we will expose the port of that container to my machine so i can communicate with it right so that's essentially what's the default port of rabbit mq you have to memorize that five six seven two right and what is that's what i want to expose to my machine this could be anything right the second part of five six seven two is what is inside your container right so that has to stay that has to stay five six seven two this could be anything you want okay and then let's, let's just use this uh, default thing, okay? And then finally we do rabbit MQ, and that's the image from which we're gonna pull the rabbit MQ Docker image from which we're gonna spin a container. Let's go ahead and spin that, and just like that, we're gonna start downloading all that stuff, right? And then, uh, yeah, just like that, this terminal is now occupied, right? So this, you can start seeing the messages that goes into this Docker uh, container, which is the RabbitMQ, okay? Now we have a container that is running and have RabbitMQ. What are we gonna build with this technology? Here's what we're gonna build. We will build an asynchronous job execution, okay, engine. And how this works is essentially, we'll have a publisher that will publish job and say, hey, consumers, I want you to execute this job, and I want you to execute this job. And then there will be a consumer, which is essentially a process that will take that job and start executing it, right? This could be like, uh, think of it like uh, you, you're publishing tasks, and these tasks are executed by actual processes, right? And this could be heavy process like I don't know calculating the prime number of certain number or finding or going to the database and doing a batch job or doing a, a Hadoop job right a map reduce right so all kind of job we're gonna publish it to the queue we're gonna publish it to the rabbit MQ message and then the consumers will start pulling the don't stop pulling they will get that message that get that job and start executing it all right so now that we know what we're gonna build, let's go ahead and build it.